Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. For those who are following politics, very keenly towards 2017 general elections, some of you will agree with me that IEBC might be fooling William Ruto. Because IEBC, even if they wanted to rig for William Ruto, they cannot do that without the blessings of the government. And that is because the internet providers IEBC is actually relying on are being micromanaged by government. IEBC will be transmitting their results through Safaricom, through Telcom, and through Airtel. And those are all <coughs> network providers in one way or the other being micromanaged by the government. And the person micromanaging that on behalf of the government is Ezra Chiloba. Yes, Community Communication Authority. And then if you leave alone that, for Aila supporters, they can still remember James Muhati, the one who was actually removed and then Musando took his place and then Musando disappeared and then he was brought back. Muhati is currently the head of at Huduma Center. And when I talk about Huduma Center, some of you can also type the dots there. So IEBC, even if they wanted to rig for William Ruto, they cannot do that with the blessings, or rather without the blessings of the government. Should they try that, then the government will just thwart that. Because the government's eyes are seeing everything IEBC is actually doing. And should they attempt that, then that will just be blocked. <laughs> yeah. So for IEBC maybe to make William Ruto think that it can ring for William Ruto, that is an IEBC just fooling William Ruto. And if you look at Chebukati, Raila supporters who were keenly following politics in 2017, can also attest to the fact that you cannot take Chebukati seriously. William Ruto supporters are very happy with Wafula Chebukati that this man can help William Ruto. Towards 2017 general elections, Raila, Raila supporters were also there. Mm. I still remember Rosalind Akombe was resigning because he thought the elections would not be free and fair. Raila's supporters were just, their eyes were all fixed on of Lord Chebukati. And they were just seeing that maybe Chebukati is also just going to resign as Rosalind Akombe. So they were waiting with bated breath. And Chebukati was even making things even worse by the kind of things he was actually talking about. I can't guarantee free fair elections. Mm. So Raila's supporters were very sure Wafula Chebukati was on their side and he could not preside over a rigged presidential elections. But from the news we are gathering, it's the same Wafula Chebukati who most definitely might have been used to rig 2017 presidential election results. So I'm seeing government here cleverly using IEBC to make William Ruto declare his confidence and trust in IBC. And that is because William Ruto is a political novice. He is still a political green on. This is William Ruto's first time on a presidential ballot. William Ruto internationally does not have all the networks that may be, he doesn't have that network. In fact, in the international community, William Ruto is seen Eh? As maybe a warlord, mm. he's seen uh, with some question marks mm, internationally. So William Ruto does not have that international network much. So I'm seeing the government cleverly using IEBC to make William Ruto declare his confidence 
in faith in IEBC. And that is going to send a, a, a message, or that is going to create a perception internationally that Kenya's government is not interfering with the workings at IEBC, or rather in IEBC. So that maybe after the election results shall have been announced, there is no way William Ruto will turn around to say that his votes have been stolen. Even the international community will not take him seriously. So I'm seeing William Ruto just being fooled by IEBC into declaring confidence and trust in IEBC. But if you look at it deeply, William Ruto, maybe one week to the elections, or after the elections, he will be crying that his votes have been stolen. I'm seeing such kind of a situation. Yesterday, John Mbadi was speaking in Sea County, Rarieda constituency, and he made some remarks that I want us to have a look here, after which, as usual, I'll just explain their political relevance to these year's elections. Yes, the star, votes not enough. State will ensure Raila wins presidency, says Mbadi. Raila opted for the handshake with President Uhuru Kenyatta after realizing that he cannot get power with votes alone and needs state security apparatus, he said. Thus, John Mbadi has been as quoted by the star. John Mbadi was yesterday in Rarieda, he was speaking in Rarieda constituency yesterday, and he made it very clear that Raila Odinga has all along been winning in the previous elections. And Raila saw for himself that votes and only votes alone cannot make him the president. And that's why Raila Odinga reached out to President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. And I fully agree with John Badi on that. In Kenya from the past elections, we have seen it takes more than just votes to win a presidential election. So as it is today, assuming the election will be free and fair, there is no chance or miracle William Ruto can, can do to beat Raila in a free and fair election. So the worst that can happen in this year's election is for the elections, rather presidential election, to be free and fair. That's the kind of a worst scenario that can happen to Raila Odinga. But for IEBC to attempt to rig for William Ruto, that one is not possible. And I'm seeing a situation where maybe even the government side can even rig for Raila Odinga, despite the fact that Raila is actually ahead. If votes were to be cast and counted without any rigging, Raila is clearly ahead of William Ruto. But that notwithstanding, I'm seeing the government can easily, if they want, they can also easily <coughs> rig on behalf of Raila Odinga. That's also a fact. And those remarks by John Mbadi, actually, if you look at the elections in Kenya, 2007, it's clear, the election was rigged. No doubt about that. 2013, nobody attained 50 plus 1%. 2017, it's also clear that votes were also rigged. So in all these past, <laughs> past election, presidential elections, it's clear votes were not free and fair. And maybe in 2022, there is nothing that is going to change. The election will just be as all along it has been. Mm. And that's why I believe William Ruto is being fooled by IEBC. Mm. And when I say it's being fooled, even if the elections were to be free and fair, Ruto cannot beat Tyler. He's being fooled by IEBC's fooling William Ruto into making him think they can help him win the elections. IEBC cannot help William Ruto. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave it there for now. In case you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe.
give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya.